Okay, so we are here once again in Timber Champions and as you can see we are here in the brand new Samurai update in the game which has brought along some very very interesting things indeed so let's get straight into it. So of course we can open up the update log over here and as you can see of course we do have the new Samurai world, two new eggs as well, ten new pets, three new trees, three new axes, trade history which is good for the traders, a crafting machine which we'll probably get into in a different video, two new items to craft as well, two, uh, seven new ingredients sorry, delete all pet options, pet power leaderboard, three new exclusives, a new game pass, new upgrades, a new aura, a new code and of course some bug fixes as well. So yeah a lot of new stuff indeed. So basically, let's just go over the first new area, um, of course, because over here we have the new axes. So one of them is actually a really cool one. I know a lot of people do love the katanas and stuff. And of course, it's also very cheap as well. 100 septillion coins isn't really that much when it comes to this update. As you can see up at the top right now, I currently have 6.44 nonillion. So yeah, this is going to be very, very easy to get for a lot of people. Does 35 quadrillion damage as well which is fairly decent for the start of this update. However then, it does get a little bit more expensive, but way more powerful. At 10 octillion coins, you get a 500 quadrillion damage Japan sword, which has, well, uh, sorry, not a Japan sword, a Japan axe, um, which has, I'm not, I can't remember the, the name of this uh, sort of like flowery plant thing. Uh, so you're going to have to remind me down in the comments. But yeah, it does look very cool indeed. And then we have the last one, which is the Oni Axe, with 500 octillion coins. It costs quite a lot, but it does do 15 quintillion damage, which is actually very strong for this update. And as you can see as well, we do have all three different trees in here, of course, as well with the crystal tree. So this one here, the small one, is of course the uh, easy one to actually get. Only has 450 quadrillion health, so it is very easy to hit. The next one has 9 quintillion health. So it might be a little bit harder to hit. However, if you are coming based off of like the, you know, the last update with the Candy World, it's still actually very easy to uh, actually break down. However, the biggest tree in the game has a 500 quintillion health. But as you can see with this Oni Axe, it still gets broken very, very easily. So there's not really anything in this update that's too hard to break. Of course, only if you do actually come off of like the last update without any like big upgrades. And as you can see as well, from this big tree, Honestly, you pretty much need to break this like three or four times and you're going to be getting a ton of coins right there as you can see. Of course, I do have some of the new pets as well, so it is going to be giving me a lot more coins than usual. But yeah, as you can see, you can get that new axe very, very quickly indeed from that new tree. However, you will most likely need to actually get the Japan axe to be able to get close to actually breaking that. But once you do get one or two layers hit down from this, you most likely will be able to afford that new Oni Axe as well. So yeah, very, very big and very, very cool indeed. I really do like it a lot. Of course, we do have the two new eggs. One of them being the Robux egg over here, which costs 800 Robux. Has some sort of Japanese style, samurai style kind of things in here as well. So those look very cool. However, the main egg in the game right now, of course, is the samurai egg. Does have the usual uh, stuff in here with the one legendary and the one mythic. The Legendary is actually very, very strong. However, the Mythic is extremely strong in the game right now. If I open up my inventory right now, as you can see, we do have some of the stuff. Let me just quickly unequip all. So this is the normal Legendary, as you can see right here. For level 4, it does around 110,000 for the base, um, like kind of hitting basically. So it is actually very, very strong compared to some of the older stuff, especially like the Magic Hydra and stuff. Even that Toxic is worse than this. So yeah, it's very strong. We also do have a golden version as well, which does uh, over 220,000. And then the toxic version doing over 450,000 there as well. So very, very strong there on the legendary. However, this is the Kasumi, the mythical. And as you can see, it is extremely strong. The normal version does around 350,000 damage. However, for the golden version, as you can see, it's doing over 700,000 damage which is absolutely insane how strong this thing is and it can give you a ton of coins so yeah honestly overall if you are going to be get hitting this tree over here and um, honestly you're going to be getting so many coins from this pet as you can see i'm getting 600 octillion right there from my full team right now so yeah overall very very strong update and as you can see the amount of coins you get honestly you don't need to be doing much work if you basically like 
get a couple of pets out of this egg, maybe like one or two legendaries, and then break down one of these big trees, you can pretty much AFK the new egg for like the whole night without any trouble. So yeah, you can get a lot of coins without having to do a lot of work. So honestly, this whole update is a big, big W for those who do like to AFK grind and stuff. So yeah, big update overall. Now of course, we are going to be moving back to the desert to check out this brand new upgrade. And I think this is going to be a very important one for this style of update, considering we do have crafting in the game now. But as you can see, we do scroll down here, as you can see, auto farm cooldown is now a thing in the game. So basically, as you guys know before, it took around three or two and a half seconds to basically like, kind of go through the whole sort of auto farm. However, now it basically only takes two seconds. So over time, this can be way, way quicker and honestly it's going to be a big W for those who do like to do the auto farming and stuff. So honestly that upgrade is going to be really really good. It does cost pretty much the same as the other ones to upgrade to max. So for those who are, are like pretty much near the end of the game already. You'll have no trouble basically going straight through that. So honestly no troubles there. And then of course in the volcano area we have the brand new aura as well. If we quickly go over here right now as you can see. We do have the nuclear aura which we had before, however the new one is of course the samurai aura. I think the first one in the game that actually links with the world that's come out with it. So that's always a pretty good thing, but that does do 1.5 times coins. So I've actually just gone up there for 0.2 times. So if I quickly jump over back into the samurai area right now and hit this big tree over here. Let's see how much I was getting because before I was getting around 634 octillion. So let's see now with that little bit of a boost. I'm actually getting over 700 octillion now instead. So yeah, honestly, this update is going to be an absolutely amazing one to grind through. Everything else in the game right now, of course, there is trade history. Uh, I don't really have any trades done in the past, so I literally have no trade history. But for those who are in the game right now, of course, who do like to do some trading, it is right there for you so you can know who you've traded with and maybe have some sort of evidence as well for those who have like been scammed and stuff. That's always a really good thing and it's literally just a big button right there next to the trading area right there. And then of course, we do have the crafting machine. I will probably check this out in another video because it is quite a big feature within the game right now. There is also a delete all pair options as well. So if we do quickly come to here and then say we start deleting stuff, you can actually select all like so. So basically all that will do is everything that's locked, any of your secrets, any exclusives, they will all be saved as well as everything that's equipped. However, everything from mythical and below that is not locked will get deleted if you do select this option. Of course, you can then scroll through and then click on some stuff to get rid of that. But yeah, of course, it's a pretty good option to basically speed up the whole process of deleting stuff. And then I think to finish it off, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, there is a new game pass as well. I've not actually seen this as of yet. Um, there is the magic eggs and all this other stuff. Um, honestly, not too sure, of course, it is going to be the times 2 ingredients chance. This can actually be a pretty good one, and of course, I'll probably also be checking it out in another video. And I think that's pretty much it. There is a new code as well. Most likely will be the samurai code. Um, where do we even put codes in? Can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's in the shop somewhere down like right below here, as you can see here. So I'm guessing it's going to be samurai like so. Yep, as you can see there, we get the coins boost. So yeah, overall, a very, very cool update indeed. I do love this update a lot. And honestly, this game is very, very fun to play right now. And it's most likely going to be one of my main games to play right now. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.